We've been exploring various change models, and in this episode, we're going to look at the technology acceptance model, TAM, and see how it can help us understand why people adopt or resist new technologies. TAM was developed by Fred Davis in 1986 and is based on the idea that our attitudes towards technology are shaped by two key factors, perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use. Perceived usefulness refers to the extent to which we believe that using a technology will enhance our performance or achieve our goals, while perceived ease of use refers to the degree to which we believe that using a technology will be effortless and straightforward. Seems logical, John. It does indeed, Denise. According to Tam, these two factors are the primary determinants of our intention to use the technology, which in turn predicts our actual usage behaviour. In other words, if we believe that a, that a technology is useful and easy to use, we're more likely to adopt and use it. That's true for me, John. So how can we apply TAM to our work in agricultural extension? Here are a few examples. Firstly, assessing farmers' attitudes towards a new technology. Let's say that we're introducing a new mobile app that can help farmers track their crop yields and soil health. To assess farmers' attitudes towards this app, we could survey them on their perceptions of its usefulness and ease of use. For example, we could ask questions like, how useful do you think this app would be for improving your crop yields? How easy do you think it would be to learn how to use this app? How much effort do you think it would take to use this app on a regular basis? By collecting data on farmers' attitudes towards the app, we can identify potential barriers to adoption and develop strategies to address them. A second example is designing training programs about new technologies. Once we've identified a new technology that we want to promote, we can use TAM to guide our design of our training programs. For example, if we know that perceived ease of use is a key factor in adoption, we can design training materials that emphasize the app's user friendliness and provide clear step-by-step -step instructions for its use. Similarly, if we know that perceived usefulness is a key factor, we can highlight the app's benefits and provide case studies or testimonials from other farmers who have successfully used it to improve their yields. The third and final example is monitoring adoption and usage rates. TAM can help us monitor adoption and usage rates for new technologies over time. By tracking changes in farmers' attitudes towards a technology, we can identify factors that might be contributing to increases or decreases in adoption. <laughs> for instance, if we notice that adoption rates for the crop tracking app have stalled, we may want to conduct further research to identify specific barriers to adoption and develop targeted interventions to address them. We found a couple of recent articles outlining work using TAM. One was in the Australian cotton industry, where researchers explored the use of automated technology on farm and found that social factors and workforce considerations influenced the growers' motivation to adopt automated technology. Perceived usefulness and ease of use were critical for adoption. We've put that reference under the blog post. Another recent piece of work in Germany used TAM, along with the theory of planned behaviour, something we've also talked about, to explore acceptance of AI in German agriculture. That reference is also under the blog post. In conclusion, TAM is a powerful tool that can help us as enablers of change understand why people adopt or resist new technologies. By assessing perceived usefulness and perceived ease of use, we can identify potential barriers to adoption and develop strategies to overcome them. TAM can guide the design of training programs and can help us monitor our adoption and usage rates over time. Well, you've heard our thoughts, now we'd like to hear yours. Add a comment below the blog post and tell us about your experiences with TAM, including any tips and further ideas about it. We don't want this just to be a one-way conversation. Join in by sharing your thoughts and ideas with us. Thanks, folks, for joining us on this Enablers of Change episode. Remember to subscribe to our newsletter if you'd like to know when new episodes are available. And if you liked what you heard, then please tell your friends so they too can join the conversation. All the best until we meet again. Bye.